Welcome back, Saber Enthusiasts. I am Nick Nitro, and I am the Lord of the Crucible. Today we are actually starting our Profi install project. Now, what you see here is a stock NeoPixel connector. Um, this is my first time messing with one of these. And we're going to be setting this up to run two data lines so that the NeoPixels on the Pogo Pen side will actually operate independently of the blade itself. But in order to do that, well, I actually have to remove this little resistor right here. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. If you do like the content that I've been providing, please, please, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. Um, if you like it, go ahead and click the like button, maybe share it. But if you'd like to, if you're interested in possibly um, supporting the channel in any material way, by all means, check out our Patreon page. Uh, all of the sabers that I've been testing over the past year and a half, I actually have a database of the results of those tests, and all of our Patreon subscribers get instant access to that database. So with that out of the way. So as some of you may have noticed, in previous videos, I have broken my hand recently. The good news is, I can still hold a soldering iron. Let's see if we can't get this resistor off, because this is probably going to be the big thing here. Okay, now somehow I had apparently already gotten the R1 resistor off. I'll take beginner's luck. <laughs> but I've got my data one line here already set up. I've got the wire in stripped and tinned. And so we are just going to carefully There we go. That's on there. Just make sure it flows good. There we go. Okay. So our data one line is in. Finally. <laughs> and look at that. Nice. Okay. Next we want to get our data two line, which is going to be going over here right next to that spot where we had removed the R1 resistor. So it's going right there. Let's go ahead and get a little spot of solder on there, get that pretend, so it'll be a lot easier. A little bit of solder on there, and now we'll get our wire ready. Now we've got our little tinned area here with our tinned wire. Apply a little heat and let it flow down. Just like that. I'm certain we don't have a bridge there, which I don't think we do. I'm done here I'm going to take a very detailed picture zoom in on it make certain I don't have any issues all right so that is our data one and data two lines now we need our two oh my goodness positives and our two negatives I 
think I'm going to put my negatives here and here and then my positives here and here. And that should have the NeoPixel connector all wired up. Alright, let me go ahead and prep those wires and we'll, then we'll cut forward in time just a little bit. the negatives are actually the pogo pins themselves. That should be a mess of solder there that I don't have to place, but we'll see. Here we go. All right. Yes, don't desolder other portions. Let's get that off of there. Oh my, yeah. Down that, and it does not look like that is the case, is it? Nope, we got a solder. Alright. The only thing holding that is the solder from the soldering iron. Uh oh, we have a problem. I have bridged some contacts here. Not cool. Because uh, that looks like, yeah, that just bridged the negative with the data one. And there goes my data one line. Which I will retrieve that in a moment. But yeah. There, that bridge is gone. All right. Touch that. that. Those two pads are tinned. So let's get the negative in there. There. Yes, we are having quite the adventure today, aren't we? our data one. Okay. Our negative is set, our data one, our data two. Let's get our other negative in here. Unfortunately, my camera has a 20 minute timeout. So, I may have lost quite a bit of footage here. But we've got our negative leads replaced, and that is just a horrible strip. Nope. And we are working on getting the positive leads prepped now. We've got that lead already tinned. We've got our wire tinned. See if we can't just get this done in one. Little go. I would love to be able to top that off with that much more solder. Use a drop method. There we go. Ish. There we go. That's better. Not great, but better. Okay, let's rearrange this a little bit. Okay. That looks nice. There we go. Ta freaking da. It's ugly, but it is done. 
and it took a lot longer than I expected. All right. Well, I am Nick Nitro. The very hot, the very sweaty. But here we are. My first attempt at a NeoPixel connector has been wired up. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I'm hot and sweaty. And the crucible has spoken. Until next time.